looking to keep their undefeated record alive. The clan hosts the Western Oregon Wolves to a foggy Terry Fox field. SFU's offense looks to get started early as the low pass by Stanford is pulled in by Jamal Kett and he is able to take it to the Wolves 18 before being forced out of bounds. After a quick timeout, Stanford airs the ball out to Kett again, but it is picked off by McAdams to keep the game scoreless. After forcing a punt, the clan get the ball back and Stanford this time finds Bobby Pospischil, who has a wide open field, taking it 32 yards before getting hauled down at the 43. This would lead to a field goal putting the clan up 3-0. Western Oregon finally showing signs of life as Bergman's pass is caught by Wafer and after getting a huge block, takes it 14 yards, leading to a field goal to tie things up at 3. Stanford now from just inside the Wolves territory gives it to Tolbert, but he laterals it back to Stanford and his pass is caught by Kawamoto on the one yard line. However, with this, SFU would have to settle for a field goal. Moving into the third quarter with Western Oregon on top 9-6, to six, Bergman looks downfield and connects with Williams for a huge 43-yard reception. On the ensuing drive, Harris takes the handoff and the second effort is good enough to put the Wolves ahead 16-9. SFU on the attack this time, Stanford is forced out of the pocket and with nowhere to go, he is leveled, forcing him to leave the game and he would not return. Big loss for the clan. With the Wolves in a fourth down situation, keep your eyes on the Wolves kicker as SFU takes a roughing penalty, leading to an automatic Western Oregon first down. With that new life, the visitors turn to their star running back Harris as he bounces off the crowd and takes it 20 yards before getting forced out of bounds. On the same drive, they turn to Harris again and he is able to find a lane driving into the end zone for the major. Harris picked up 52 yards on that drive alone. Western Oregon again in the SFU red zone. Bergman finds Reeves on the doorstep and he is able to fall in for the score as the Wolves take the victory by a score of 30-9. Scary moments for the clan as Stanford did not return to the game and with less than two minutes remaining, Tolbert had to be helped off the field favoring his previously injured knee. This marks the first loss of the season for the clan as they head back on the road to take on Dixie State next week.